Hello. How are you today? This is a bit of a bit of an odd duck, as the saying goes, in that I decided I, oh I don't even have Steam open yet. It's gonna record some things. My general I don't even know what you would call this. Um well let me just explain. I have to do some rusted min on my server, library and long place. Feel free to check it out. Um, so we're going to do that. I have to do some setting up of uh, XSplit, which is what is recording my voice and visuals as we speak um, for uh, The Witcher, which I think is going to be the next game. Now, I'm probably going to post this before that, so the next game in the far distant future because I record freakishly far in advance. Um, and then I'm going to try again, even though it has never worked, to update. Cute. Oh, okay, I got to rest as has an update. Um, I'm going to try, although I've been unsuccessful so far, to record some Fallout 76. Um, so it's just going to be like a mis mishmash. A mishmash of things all in one video for some reason. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, is my buttons working? Yeah, seemingly. They are. Hilarious. Um, I was going to, you know, my game plan before I woke up this morning was to start The Witcher 3. But then I realized... Um, I have to do this Rust Admin thing because it was wipe day yesterday. Uh, I'll just give you the... It, it is uh, August 2nd, 2024. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, Rust wipe was yesterday. And uh, I, I got it sorted, I do believe. However, uh, the day after wipe, there's always some plugins and things you gotta mess with and fix and stuff it, it's not a it, it's not a push a button operation push a button operation there's usually some uh some work involved um oh there we go is the okay i'm probably not gonna turn the or maybe we do turn it on if i can find it uh, yeah, normally I, uh, when I play Rust, or when I record Rust stuff, I have, uh, wave sounds. Uh, maybe we won't do it today. Okay, well, let's just see. Anything I want in the item store? Whenever there's new stuff, I normally do check. And very infrequently are there things that I want. Actually, I did buy something, uh, last time. It's like a suit. <sighs> You know, when I, uh, you know, I'm doing the librarian stuff quite often. Oh, I'm getting like a, a screen flicker. I don't think it's showing up in the recording. I had that the other day, too. Okay, I think it stopped. Weird. Um, uh, yeah, quite often he dresses in a tuxedo, if at all possible. Okay, yeah. Oh, you see, there's that screen flicker again. There's something in the background. Uh, what is it? Because, yeah, I did have this happen before. It's... When I minimize... Things... Settings? Could be the settings. I can't quite see what it is. It happened so fast. Um, oh, it could be my Steam Deck. Yeah, close that. Alright. We'll see if that does it. Yeah, I heard about this little tin can thing. Sort of interesting. I did like the idea, uh, was it Shadowfax? I heard mention that you have a bean can grenade there instead. That seems like a logical progression. Underwater items, they sort of float down. That's cool i guess zip line oh yeah <clears throat> that's actually something we're gonna have to be testing oh uh yeah this update i mean every update breaks things a little bit <laughs> um but this one seems to have been not great 
in terms of breaking things. It's breaking more things than normal. Like, uh, I heard that basically cars are not working. Post your own server. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Wait. <laughs> How do I... Uh, I'm paying for mine. Anyways. Uh, yeah, here's mine. There you go. PvE with Purge. Some quality of life things. We'll get into it a little bit. Because <clears throat> I do want to go through the info. Make sure that's working. That broke last month and I didn't get it fixed for like a week or two. It was the person who did the plugin uh, seemingly not updating it anymore. However, uh, the helpful people in the Rust, you know, server admin plugin hosting communities uh, managed to fix it on their own and uh, posted fixes online and uh, very helpful. Yeah, if you are going to start your own server, which seemingly might be easier, like can I, I don't think I could do, like if I do that host your own one, I have to look into it a little bit more. Uh, I, I don't think you can have all the like plugins and stuff that I have. I think it's uh, going to be sort of a more vanilla experience. But uh, if it's not the case, you know, I would uh, I'd definitely consider moving. Because the only reason I have this is mostly to record things. Um, I have it, you know, open to the public, as it were, uh, because... Uh, it's sort of a server set up in the way that I wish I could find a server set up. Like I always was able to find ones that got close to how I wanted them, but never one exactly how I wanted them. And uh, the only way to do that really is start your own. So that's what I've done here. And um, I, I think I'm three, four months in and it's sort of expensive, and with the combination of the fact that I've popped back into Fallout 76 means I haven't been on it as much as I have sort of planned, I guess. So I, I don't know if I'm going to do a second year, but it has been a fun experience. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll end up coming back to it. It is a lot of work as well, more than I would like. Again, if I could have that sort of push a button and things are done the the, the setting up of it like <coughs> it's funny i'm probably a better you know quote unquote coder than i was when i started a rest server i would definitely say that i'm, I'm learning my json language my c plus mm -hmm. <sighs> which you know i didn't want to do <laughs> i was forced to do it but still, it's been uh, it's been fun, and and I, I do think, you know, when I compare my server to others, I think it's pretty good, pretty 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 good. So we will see in a moment, hopefully. Oh yeah, uh, I want to check this map out too. Um, so every month I do hand pick a map. Uh, this one had a lot of caves, if I do remember. Oh, oh, okay, the info's working. That's good. Um, okay, so let's wake up. Yeah, so we'll just... Da, 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 da. Mm hmm Discord, I don't want to. Uh, no one's taken advantage of this yet. I haven't had a Rust server comment um, on a thing. Admin shop. Yeah, that, that's, this thing always breaks every single wipe, so I'm going to have to go fix that. Sea levels, okay, good, I did wipe them. Zombies, uh, zombies, let me check. Some of this is going to involve me tabbing out. Okay, yeah, zombies are working. Uh, I'm looking at the back end. Um, one of the zombie settings is you can have scientists ignore them or not um i have them not ignore them because i thought it'd be sort of interesting that when zombies show up uh you might hear some you know gunfire in the distance as the scientists kill them and i can see them being killed in the back end so i know that's working backpack i still have my yeah backpacks carrying over so every wipe 
you can put things i haven't played like an actual wipe in i think two months pretty sure two months um but uh everything you put in your backpack uh is saved for the next uh, wipe so this is from like two three wipes ago that i just haven't used okay this is working so there is um epic scrap <clears throat> which can be used to build things with bonuses mm -hmm. increase your you know farming so what, what bonus was this that's why i kept this gun operator so this gun if i do recall uh does extra damage against scientists and it's a uh, there's tier s down to c so it's okay it's it's not great uh, a couple of generators mm -hmm. oh shit where did my scrap go okay i think i maybe had scrap in my inventory and not there um so that's not great uh, let's eat our berries. Oh, yeah. Uh, when you start, you get a kit consisting of this. Um, okay, so... Oh, I saw that little, weird little pop-up again. Yeah, I don't know why the Vanish does that now. It sends you to one hit point. Okay. So... Has anyone built yet? No. Uh, where's that bus? Okay. Oh yeah, I've got a teleport. <clears throat> teleport thing, so I just left clicking at teleports. Uh, this is gonna take a second. Ooh, that's kind of a cool little effect. Yeah, so my little shop here. Um, let's heal myself, because that's annoying. Yeah, my little shop uh, of horrors always disappears. But uh, this is actually an easy fix. It wasn't the first time, which is sort of, uh, I guess, sort of like the way this has gone. <laughs> which is um, figuring out how to fix time, fix things the first time is not so difficult. Uh, but um, uh, the first time figuring them out was often a pain in the ass um, so it is monument finder I believe let's just see uh, did I not write this down Monument add-ons. Okay, I did. Boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep. Uh, so if I go to the back end and type O dot reload monuments um, dot add-ons. Is that what it is? <clears throat> no, that doesn't exist. Okay. Started. Air. Hot air balloon. What? <laughs> I've got an air. Air while compiling monuments and on hot air balloon does not contain a definition for last last time. Uh no. Why is there a hot air balloon error for this? That kind of don't make sense. Uh, you know what I could do as well? Okay, uh, let me just... This music is loud. I could... Uh, turn it on and off again. <laughs> It's funny how often that works. So, monuments. Monument add ons. Uh, hopefully, this <coughs> doesn't break it. Uh, you know what? Let me just click on it first. 
um, which opens the U mod, and then I go to the help. Um, okay, so far no one said anything about it not working that I'm seeing. What order is this? Two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess I'll try the turn it on and off again. I, I, I don't think I'm going to lose data. No, that didn't work. Oh, it did work. <laughs> All right, yeah. See my little uh, my little oasis. Oh yeah, I had to get rid of the last wipe. I used to sell uh, uh, cars, boats, and aircraft in these two, uh, but that mod broke. Those will go out eventually. <laughs> Those two fires. Uh, whenever I turn it on first, because when I was playing around with it, I put some fires there. They they go out. Yeah, they go out eventually. So this one sells. You know. Oh, okay, that's good. Got rid of the... Nice, nice, nice. You know what, do these ones still have it, though? Okay, good, good. It got rid of that tax thing. Um, actually forgot to check that. Uh, last wipe. Yeah, I don't really care for that. So... Oh, yeah, I got rid of it. Um, oh, Joppa. hear it. <laughs> you ever get a real close-up view? A real close-up view? <laughs> Alright, um, let's test the zip line. So, in my bag, I believe, yes. Did, did that stupid thing. It says, see, it says I'm still in the safe zone. Um, that's something with... There you go. It's something with the teleporting. Like, if I teleport into the safe zone and then leave, it, like, still thinks I'm in the safe zone. Okay, so where should we do a zipline to and from? <laughs> uh, how about dome to airfield over top of research base. That's kind of cool. I'm getting rads. All right. Um, so, yeah, to like there. You think I could do that? Let's see. over top of this and then you can like drop down and into that because uh i turned off on my server i turned off fall damage which makes getting around the map kind of fun like hopping and jumping and stuff yeah like right here eh? that'd be cool oh that's actually not cool i don't know why that happened because it'd be nice if you can get there and back um like a hobbit would. <clears throat> okay, so I need one of these to pick this up. Okay, so we'll do it the other way. We'll do it from here to there. Hopefully. Whoa, why is there two... Oh, did somebody come on the server? Someone who saved some airdrops? <laughs> I'm going to have to go have a check. I, I didn't see anyone come on, but... So, maybe not. I wonder if it's the... Okay, let's do this. Let's try this again. 
Oh, uh, and I do want bi-directional. No, those are two different... That's interesting. Why was there two airdrops? Two simultaneous airdrops. Sort of weird. Alright, so let's do this a little closer now. Hmm. Could I do... Uh, can you get on this roof? I don't think you can. Alright, what about over here? Hmm. Here, you can get on here. Hey, there you go. Yeah, okay, so kind of a pain to get that way. Because you'd have to, like, hop on this, hop on this. Do, 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 do. But still, fun. It appears to be working. Um, I don't know, maybe I will build something. This wipe. I'll tell you what, we'll look to see if we could find anywhere fun to build. And maybe I'll just put a little one by one for now and claim my spot. Um, last wipe I had big plans for building. It's going to build in, an, in a monument, which is now a possibility. However, it's very janky. And you can't do a lot of things that you can. Like they they haven't quite figured it out yet. It's it's getting there, but um, it's not quite there yet. Mm, fun. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so where should we build? Nice little island here. I did sort of choose this map, I think, because it had a lot of caves. Oh, where's this little... Little oasis. No. At least I thought I had a lot of caves. Is that a cave system? Yep. yep. Oh, one of these caves. These are like big, right? Or it's like a system. Yeah, multiple cave system. Alright, well let's just see what it looks like. This is one of the big ones. Um... Okay. Oh uh, yeah, you don't get these caves very often, I feel like. It's one of like the giant ones. Might be kind of cool to build in here. It's sort of like a small build area. Ooh, which one you can build in here? I mean, I probably could build in here. Um, let me give myself a thing uh, construction um, put this away Oh, uh, one of the main issues with 
um, being able the, the the creative building, whatever they called it, is I I would have to turn it on every single time for every single player who you know has access to it, uh, which obviously does not work <laughs> because I'm not going to uh, do that. underground cave <laughs> um so that's something they would definitely have to fix because imagine you can like just build in here let alone in monuments like we, we we did do some testing me and uh clark who you have seen i'm sure on okay yeah, this might be better on vids and uh, we did build some things in monuments and it was cool all right yeah i think i will do here what do i do though um Yeah, maybe just a one by one to start. Um, blue door, please. Blue door. And then I can, uh, if I want to do something, I can go from there. Bit of a TBD on that, though. Eh. I don't have to be exact. Six hundred and eighty-eight days, pretty good. A little, a little creepy shack in the. With a blue door. And a lock. Um, and I don't think I have any cloth, do I? No. Okay, so. I am gonna give myself a bag. Uh, I will go towel, though. Oh, you know, give us a good opportunity to test skin box. Nice, it is working. Um, so, what do we want? What's this one? Cool. Yes, we have a skin box. Let's throw that in there. Chud, we'll call it because it's underground and we'll be cannibals did I do the roof? I did not don't really have to um, purge is off until the last uh, what do I do? four or five days of the uh, the wipe yeah okay so uh, if I do want to build in this area I can and this is kind of a fun little you know fun little cave area to Oh, I'm hearing things. Yep, I heard that wolf. Let's play the wolf a song. Did he look at me? Hey, what are you looking at? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't like that. Alright, um, so let me see. <laughs> so that's weird. Alright, so plugins, zombies, backpack, half decay. Uh, that's. I don't know if that was half decay. It's hard to tell. Uh, bigger stack seems to be 
Last of recycling, I think. Crate timer. Is there a crate on the map? I can test that. There's not a crate yet. I guess there's not. Oh, I guess it's a little island. Hmm. It's gonna be a fun little. It's sort of weird with the little patch like this. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Kind of cool. Yeah, that's that's a fun looking river. I don't know. This this uh, this uh, map has got some cool things going for it. It kind of looks like. That is kind of why I, I do pick. I do pick them rather than random. Try to pick. I try to pick cool ones. Um, I haven't really delved into delved. I haven't really delved into custom maps because uh, that's like a whole other animal with like a program called Rust Edit. Um, much more in depth. And I just don't know if I'm, oh yeah, look at this. Legend, um, you know, it'd be fun here. If you had a bunch of friends all living on like the rocks, like you each, you, you have to live on the rocks and like maybe build like, like bridges among your homes all on these rocks. Okay. Getting, getting sidetracked. Um, okay, what else do I got to test? Yeah, giant excavator. It's just your, your, your normal cheat. Well, actually, um, I upped them just because the gatherer rates go up as your skills go up, which doesn't happen on the excavator. So it would not make sense to run excavator, but it should. Um, and also I added that thing where there's a cool down so people can't like use it all day. Um, vendor stock, chest stacking. Okay. Yeah. Let's chest, let's chest the tech stacking. And by that, of course, I mean, let's test the chest stacking, um, box. So give me a, give me a hundred of those. I'll just put. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's working, but. Hmm. All right, where's my home? <laughs> yeah. Am I close? She goes. All right. Okay, good, good. Um, wait, I thought these are supposed to have skins, though. Oh, I think it's maybe because I didn't make them. I just gave them to myself. Okay. Yeah, normally when you make things, uh, at least I think that was a thing. I don't. I don't. Again, I haven't been on in a little bit, so when you make things, it's going to have a, a skin. Or maybe that's just when you find things, actually. Hmm. Okay, okay. Continuing on, continuing on. Chest stacking, drone range. Yeah, I'm going to test that. Um, that one's built right into the back end. That's not even a mod. So basically, uh, drones can go the distance of basically the whole map. Uh, okay, yeah, plugins. So 50, this one's kind of dumb because it's 50 connected foundations, but you could have 50 and then 50 somewhere else. Uh, yeah. uh, PVE seems to be good, uh, although nobody's here yet, <laughs> so I don't have any bases I can go hit with a rock. Uh, yeah, you respawn just anywhere. Uh, less aggressive heli I could have tested, but I that's that's another one that's sort of not a mod, I don't think. Or was that a mod? No sharks. That's not a mod. That's built into the back ends. 
No decay, monument baddies. Oh yeah, okay. Let's let's test test that out. So there should be at a gas station, say, a zombie. Should be a zombie right here. Look at, look at this guy. Hey, you. Like that. There you go. Now, if that one. Uh... Oh, he's pissed. Wait, how's he seeing me? Hmm. Oh, there's a bike. Problem? I don't know how he's seeing me. I guess because I hit him. Anyways, uh, alright. Continuing on, uh, craft menu. Oh, um, okay. I wonder if that's, that's actually I, something I, I didn't look into. So there's an expanded craft menu. Uh, that's accessed via workbenches. I don't know if the, the workbench here will have one. Oh, it does. Okay, so, yeah, so see this little... Like, normally a workbench is this. But there's also this. And it does... Okay, it is working. Does it have all the, the expanded stuff, though? I think it does. So this sort of lets you build things that... Like, if you don't have DLCs, you could build them here. Okay, I, I think that is... Everything. Snowman. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Alright. There's that new bean can, right? Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, back at it again. Uh, water foundations. Yeah, I already saw that was working. Uh, yeah, random event. Oh wait, has that, have we seen that? Every hour or so. Maybe I haven't been here long enough. Epic loot is working. Commands. Oh, uh, yeah, I should set, I, I should do that. I haven't done that in a minute. Set my home, that is. still build a light um so i have to not be in vanish mode um i think maybe just in case oh. yeah see it brings me down to one health whenever i exit and enter it it didn't used to do that i don't know what it does now um set home home one okay so that's working Uh, so then you can teleport to your home, which um, there's two. So that really helps with um, cave bases because getting to particularly this deep, hard to find cave base would be a pain in the ass. So, you know, you have one base in here and you set that as a home and then you have another base, you know, wherever that you could teleport to and fro makes things a lot easier you know just trying to remove some of those frustrations I don't know if that's the right word uh, tree okay so I'm gonna need to give myself some oh yeah you know what I could build a forest in here underground forest with cabin mm hmm okay wait let's just Start. Uh, I'm gonna need scrap though, which, to be fair, I did have a lot. Like I had tons of scrap. I think I had eight thousand or so. Uh, I don't know where it went though. Um, tree. 
oak. Oak bee is a good one. Oak bee I enjoy. I'm an oak bee enjoyer. Oh, are you kidding me? Is this not dirt? Certainly looks like dirt. I guess it doesn't count. Um, okay, let me just test something if I want to do. Uh, I'm going to have to go look at my notes, look at my plugin. Uh, search for creative, yes. All right. Um, so put that there, get my Steam ID. <laughs> uh, the other really dumb thing about this creative mode um is that you can't turn it on for a person unless that person is on the server that's insane to me because i could potentially build it into the back end so that whenever the server restarts Um, whenever the server start, ah, see, uh, whenever the server starts, it turns on for that person. However, oh, I could just do it anywhere, actually. <laughs> That's cool, right? All right, all right. Maybe I end up doing something. Yeah, I like that. Build like a little cabin in the woods in, in here. Something like that. Underground cabin in the woods. A sort of Baba Yaga-esque. Only I had the chicken feet. Alright. So trees are working. Supplying working. License. Oh yeah. So uh, I did license. Um because the I, I couldn't sell cars anymore in the okay license is working yeah it just lets you buy all those complete train c train what's a c train buy c train oh geez this is expensive all right, where's a track? <laughs> Let's see what a C train is. I've heard of A train, but C train? All right, uh, so that'll be spawn C train. Whoop. Oh, like that just spawned that, this whole, f wow. <laughs> no wonder it's expensive. Like it, yeah, including this, eh? Yeah. I feel like, you know, I've always thought, like, for the amount of work that it would take to open this, it, sh it should have way more inside. Like, I can hit, like, two barrels and get as much. I mean, yeah. Speaking of barrels, um... make sure four yeah okay yeah it's uh scrap is a uh, doubled nothing else is technically doubled it's just as you you know as you hit things so what does this count this counts as wood cutting that's very really interesting so see my woodcutting just so now I get a 20% bonus. Mm -hmm. 
uh, the early levels go up quick too. It slows down as you as you go up as you know most leveling systems. Yeah, see, I'm already getting like. And this is not the best tool for this, obviously, but yeah, so like 50 cloth from hitting three cacti, not too bad. Um, all right, I think we're kind of done for this part of our process, right? Uh, yeah, future plans, yeah. Abandoned player bases would be nice. Jetpacks would be nice. Map voting, I haven't really done. Well, I've done a little of that. Uh, and then wipe schedule. I, I, I kind of wish more. It's interestingly enough. I feel like I've almost never been on a server that has this. <laughs> For some reason. Um, but I think we're good. Uh, let's just see if there's any other cool stuff we want to check out. That's a big ice lake. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever seen such a big ice lake. Wow. You could build a big base on that. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, why don't I do this? If anyone watches this, which... This is sort of a weird one, so I'm not expecting a great many people to watch this. Um, why don't I put... Oh, I don't think I... Oh, no, no. I think I did fix this. Yeah, I used to have a plugin that meant you couldn't open other people's stuff. Um, but I uh, got rid of that so I could do things like what I'm about to do here. Um, I'm just going to give myself stuff since this is for a good cause. <sighs> One of those. We have the factory door. Key lock. Oh no, I don't want a code lock. Code lock. And then. What do I want? I'll do a barrel. Real barrel of laughs. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is if you were watching this uh, this is going to be for you first come first serve code is um, 8008 and inside this base, it's going to be a bunch of stuff you can use to potentially build on this ice base. For example, um, for example, that, 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 nice, this. Okay, you would have got that anyways. What else should we give you? Um, you're gonna have one door. Um, you're gonna have a bed. You're gonna have a rocking chair and a couch and a snowman and a tier three. Resources. You're gonna have a bunch of wood, some stone as well. Some middle. Oh, you know what? You get a hundred diesel. Food? You're gonna get one of these. These are very powerful. You're gonna have a thousand spoiled human meats. Why? Don't question it. Tools, I'll give you some good tools. I'll give you one of these. I'll give you a, an airdrop. I'll give you one of these. Um, for misc, you're going to get uh, one of these. You're going to get a head bag. You're going to blue cart. 
components. You're going to have some bleach, electrical. What's something weird? Oh, this new Twitch Rivals thing. Fun. You know, 100 fire strikers. <laughs> All right, so if you watch this video, all that's yours. Congratulations, you're a wiener. First come, first serve. Uh, and I expect to see a giant goddamn base on this ice lake. All right, um, anything else I want to check out? This area is sort of interesting looking. <laughs> Horse with no name. Yeah, this is sort of another little interesting area. Hmm. Oh no, I like this map. The uh the double biome uh double biome island with some icebergs. And bears, ooh, double bears, double biomes. Interesting, interesting. All right, I think maybe I'm ready to move on to part two of our plan, which actually shouldn't take that long. Um, I am going to go back to here. Actually, I'm gonna go here. Uh, okay, uh, let me cr close my rest here. Quit it. Spit it and quit it. Alright. Alright, well, server seems to be good. Everything seems to be working. Lots of, <laughs> despite the rocky first day. Oh, I never tested cars. Uh, someone will let me know if they're <laughs> still not working. Um... Okay, let me just close that. Yeah, so I got to set up for uh, Witcher. Oh, I already did. Yes. Cool. All right, never mind. <laughs> uh, let me just, can I save this while it's going? Kind of a cool little background, eh? Basically, I just took, uh, like, one of the, um, some of the game art and, like, jiggered it around a bit, but I, I feel like it looks kind of cool. Um, I'm trying to do, like, simpler thumbnails. Like, less busy, I guess you might say. Uh, so, let me save... I don't think I've ever tried to save this. Oh, yeah. Like, while I'm recording. Okay. All right. Uh, now, this next part may or may not work. I'm not going to lie. NGL. Um, there is a video on my channel of me trying to play Fallout 76. I was going to long play it, but um, it just didn't happen. So... Sadness. Um, yeah. All right. doing it we're doing it sort of um <laughs> boop, boop, boop. free stuff let's get our daily free stuff let's take a scrap kit i suppose anything else of interest i did buy uh this thing Alright. 
play. I'll just do private world. I'm up to level 162. That's something. And if this works, I think all I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just show my uh, 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 two of the three bases that I have built because uh, it's the first time I've ever done anything with merging these bases. Like I've, uh, I've sort of ignored that as a possibility, but um, while it is not like, it's a bit of a pain to do, obviously uh it's not as much as a pain as i thought it would be <laughs> so i am sort of like taking advantage of it one thing i've uh, enjoyed doing is the merging of workbenches with things All right. so this base i think i'm gonna have to move and i'll tell you why oh the thunder so, wow, this is actually working. What the hell, man? <laughs> like, when I tried to record this the first time, this would be, like, 2 FPS. Uh, okay, let's just see. Yeah, so see these textures? It's like dirt and debris that are on <laughs> things I don't like that and I no, like if I put anything here it's gonna this texture is gonna be on top of it so that's annoying so this is what it should look like uh, this still getting a little dirt but for some reason these textures are just there um, so yeah you can see I've done some merging here all right and I guess that thunder would get annoying after a while so maybe I will move. Yeah, like, I uh, see, uh, th this is one that I've come across that I really like. So this fireplace, and I merge a uh, campfire into it. So there's, like, always a burning fire. What's that sound, too? It sounds like a mothman. Is there a mothman about? This looks weird. Eh? If you've ever been in this area, it's because... Oh, well, you know what I could do? Um... Let me unplug this. So this makes it so it's clear. Um, so were I to unplug this, well, I'm going to be moving, so I'll just start for now. So that should, yes, yeah, so it's going to. This is what it normally looks like here. Oh, it's not up there. Just a weird texture. I think. Yeah, normally there's some lost builders there. But uh, I thought this was kind of a cool build spot. Uh, this one's not finished, obviously, and uh, I think I am going to move on. Um, one thing I did kind of like was using this existing... Uh, fence uh, or wall here and then sort of this was like yeah uh, this is just my staging area for merging if, if you know anything about merging you know this is what you use to do it I got one of these big dinosaurs now <laughs> all right uh, so let's have a look at my other two camps um Right. So this was my second one. Which I, in, in some ways, I kind of like my, the first one. Uh, and when I say first camp, I don't, obviously don't mean first camp. First camp that I started doing merges. I don't see the door open there. There, let's give it a second to load in. One not great thing about this camp as well is um a lot of people build in this area so on multiple occasions i haven't been able to place my camp because someone was here like when i log in oh it does look like somebody 
Oh, that's the vendor trap. Okay. I could save time if I just also that. Okay, I had to put some turrets up. So I was getting some enemies. Uh, alright. So, uh, yeah, a lot of this stuff is already here. So, like, these tents. It's like a pre-existing location. Like, this is already here. I, I just sort of built around it. Which is something I do like to try to do. Um... So this is here because I couldn't put another foundation there <laughs> because there is, and you can kind of see it sticking out. There's actually another canoe underneath this thing. So it sort of limits what I, I'm actually surprised I could put this here even. Yeah. Uh, so this is just some of that new stuff that butter churn. Oh, it's not plugged in actually. I'm not really using it. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so this is the one part that I was actually pretty pleased with. Um, this little merging of the vendor with this uh, organ. Uh, this sort of little vending nook looks kind of cool. And, and the other cool thing is, like, if I want to close it, see it like closes the door in there. So that's fun. Some boiled water I'll take while I'm here. I wonder what uh, human flesh tastes like. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you know, the classic put one of these in your camp pointed at where your vendor is. That's, a lot of people do that because it's helpful. There you go. View from the inside. View inside. Um, uh, this here. Mm -hmm. Symptomatic. It's got some brewing. This is... Oh. Uh, dead alien. Yep. Nothing to see here. This is basically just power generation for the most part. And again, keeping it clear. I, I, I like this one, keeping, keeping it clear. There's another cool one, which I've seen some camps have, which I think makes it like full moon nighttime or something like that. Uh, yeah, this is one I've done a little bit of, especially if you're going to have like a fusion core generator and things that take a lot of power, is merging two uh, generators into one so, so they take up a lot less space. You can sort of see where the, the line is, but yeah, that's a fun one. It's uh, a thing I am liking of merging. Oh, yeah. Your classic, uh, I feel like this is a Japanese thing. Toilet merged with the sink. Here. Oh. I meant to close the door. Alright. Uh, around the outside, around the outside, we got our classic corn. I tend to, uh, have a lot of corn soup. That's my go to drink. Uh, my go-to food and drink is corn soup, so I always have a lot of corn. Mm-hmm. Power coming out. Up there. Alright, let's go inside. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of enemy spawns in this area, so... I actually did have to put that. They were busting things up. Alright, inside. Got a wraparound couch cat on top. One thing I did learn in a previous build is that you really got to put things on the wall before you put things on the floor. Um, otherwise you run into issues. Yeah, this area in here came out okay. <coughs> I do got some dirt mess with me. Oh yeah, uh, so I merged a nuka cola machine with a cryo freezer. Cryo freezer is cool in theory. Um, however, it takes up a lot of your weight for things. Yeah, see, so here's, here's an interesting merge. This, this, and these all work still. Yeah, well, might look a little weird. There's some clipping issues if you use stuff, but uh, in general, <laughs> this one I like because when I'm using, um, 
when I'm using the cooking stove, it looks like I'm like chopping up the uh, the alien. So that's fun. Or the whatever's going on here. One of these. Oh, I finally did set up my my roaming and everything else so when i'm building when i'm selling when i'm crafting when i'm farming i use that one uh, but you know defaults default there take your workbench with the tool chest this guy in the corner storage storage oh yeah this turns on so this is merged with the fireplace. I had a weird fireplace thing on this in that it would only face the other direction. It's hidden on the other side, at least, by the bell tower. But for some reason, it would not face this way. And I have no idea why. Yeah, I thought this is sort of interesting. These kind of go together. This is, a, this is an old one. This is a newer one, I think. <sighs> yeah, you got your candies. Go up the stairs, bobbleheads. I've only got one set, and it's in the other one because I've been using the other build as a as a default. Oh, I can't believe how smooth this is. Yeah, coming along, coming along. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, here's some power. So the power coming from the bell tower onto the roof, through the floors. This one's going into the vendor room. This one's going into the other room. And I've never really done that. Got this new bed. Yeah. Oh, uh, and, and that's sort of one of the ideas I had of this. Is I wanted... Um, from the top to be able to see... Uh, like, down to the ground. Like, this open area. Uh, I, I kind of wanted that in mind. So, yeah. All right. Uh, let's go see the first one I built, which I actually like a little more. Oh, I still got one there. Steins. Win Ben Steins money. Okay, if I'm on... Oh, I'm getting a little... Yeah, so this one here, this is, I think, my favorite one. Despite the fact that it was the first time I ever used mods, or mods, merging... I think maybe it's the location, or it just came out kind of cool. Let it, let things pop in. Boop, boop, boop. Ah. All right, uh, I'll show you this first. Uh, nothing really up here. It's just I needed a spot for. What would you oh yeah, it's... like in your stocking? Mm -hmm. no. Stockings not Ooh. included. It's the holiday event, so, you know, there you go. Wait, uh, my, uh, no, I can't imagine it is, right? Okay, I did a thing where, I, and I saw this online, I forget where, where you take over every single uh, workshop and put a Santatron. So that, like, really built up my plans and stuff. All right, yeah, just some water back here purified waters and this. this is sort of like the little hidden back area stuff that's not really that interesting however uh, I haven't had a single enemy spawn however this is a sort of pre-existing structure and sort of why I built here need some help with the interfacing I can show you how to complete a circuit oh my <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is one of the first things I ever merged, actually. So uh, if you're f familiar with this fireplace, normally it's half. So if you get two of them, you sort of merge them together. And I feel like the seam, like, yeah. You, uh, it took me a few tries, definitely. But, uh, oh yeah, it, it uh, came out well, I think. I think maybe I'd seen someone do this before, but I do like this idea. A circular fire pit instead of... The half fire, but little uh, mushroom guy. Get it on. We got our uh, hot tub up here. With a nice radio. Tunnel of love. Very romantic. Um, maybe I'll do the home last. Uh, down here. Again, corn. 
love my corn. Uh, this thing I like. Uh, I actually made a blueprint of this whole building because it's like power. It's got my symptomatic. It's obviously very jam packed, but it's kind of nice to be able to place this shack and then suddenly have a crap ton of power as well as, you know, your uh, clear skies and sort of everything you need to build. And, and that's why that's in there as well, because then I could switch to build mode. Right off the bat, I just got to place this whole thing down. Fun. Uh, and then around the around the back, I got uh, the water, which I will take. Yeah, and then see that the power sort of comes out. Is there a way to have it come out like naturally? Like, is there a nub, a power nub? I, I kind of don't think there was. Oh yeah, okay. So here's little weird little things i merged dumpsters with this i don't know why this is the the butter churn merged with the 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 nodding donkey merged together on top uh this is all part of the blueprint uh, i haven't really done much with the fermenter brewing station yeah oh you know what i should show my uh my camp as well um you know nothing too exciting in it just, just show it you know this thing sort of fits the builds water goes in there uh one of these things although i am a vegetarian build so i don't actually eat meat so leave it unlocked if anyone wants it Help themselves cow bees chicken yeah she just hangs out here all right Oh yeah, see this has that same sort of texture issue where I put this carpet down and the textures are sort of going through it. Not ideal. Yeah, so this is all pre-existing structure, this, this whole little area. Uh, yeah, little sitting area. We got our vendor. Mm-hmm. Mystery beer. <laughs> uh, I got some good stuff on sale, needless to say. Look at all those fixers. I, I, I got a plan for the fixers, so I've been uh, building some and selling them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So this is where I learned about putting things on walls and why you should do it first. Because, like, I can't put things there, I can't put things there. A lot of these walls I just can't put things on. I can't put anything there. It's actually hanging from the top. Just sort of, it's near the wall. But yeah, cool little uh, sitting area. This is where I learned to do that uh, fire pit in the fireplace thing. Mm -hmm. This creepy guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, some interesting merges here with the cabinet and that. Yeah, cabinet actually goes well with that. I should do that one again. Mm -hmm. Chemistry and cooking. Uh, this is one I've been doing a little bit, which is weapons and ammo. Uh, ammo storage mixed with weapons. That and that. This I don't really like. Uh, I would do something different here. Um... It's just, no matter what you put in this, it, it always looks sort of weird because it like takes up so little space, but the thing is huge. So I don't think I would use that one again. Okay, up the stairs. Yeah, this is kind of like, like, just look at this little, little scene here. Right? Came out nice, I feel like. A couple of balls. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I got one of these trains going. Turn that off for now. Um, this, you know, it's the first attempt at doing a shelf. Uh, things are a little floaty. Things are a little sinking. <laughs> but overall, it's, it's okay. Uh, you know, if you're unfamiliar, you can't actually just put things in a shelf. You gotta, like, you gotta work for it. So this, like, took a not insignificant amount of work and effort to do. Uh-huh. 
Uh, this is a pain because I got the new blue magazine racks. But in order to put them down, I need to remove the roofs uh, and then put them down. Uh, which is why there, there was one there. Uh, but then these roofs, because of all the trees around, have been very finicky. Hey, where did two of my pies go? Well, I had a whole full case. The hell? Yeah, bobblehead mixed with a <laughs> generator. Alright, so that's that, I guess. Um, and I think my game plan now is going to be to look for for somewhere new to bills so there anything else for this video though just sort of like a weird little experimentation but uh you know oh yeah yeah check this out um not really anything what Huh. I did what now? <laughs> I don't remember disabling that. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to have much PvP on a, my own private server. Yeah, so uh, really nothing here. It's just if I want to come here. And, and to be honest, I don't <laughs> really do it, even though I could. Like I could come, sleep, play this. Uh, get some perfume, do some gambling, do this, do this, do this, 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 and get my stats up a little bit. Yeah, well, let's see how we do. Five, okay. Uh, and then I also, oh yeah, if you want to come over here, get your picture taken. You know, you can do that. I, I know I did this behind. Sure. Why not? little Easter egg behind, and then uh, up here just uh, one of each of the shelters. If people want to, you know, see what the shelters look like for themselves, uh, they can uh, check them all out. Why don't we check one of them out? Missile? Tig site? Storage? Sto oh, wait. I got two the same? Soundstage. Flatlands, I was tempted to try to build something on. What's the soundstage? I don't really know that one. I don't really do much in the way of shelters. Maybe I should look into it, though. Did that do anything? <laughs> All right, well, it's a big room. What could you do in here? It's sort of a big square room with a with a balcony around it. All right. Um, what happens if I'm in here and I activate this camp? Oh, okay. Just curious. Let's go to this camp. Because I want to build in this area. It's just... Um, those textures, I thought I could live with it. <laughs> it's just I can't. I can't do it. Yeah. You know, but like I was starting to get set up. Cool little area here. I, I do like this. This little little nook was going to be cool, I feel like. Oh, he's, here's those new stairs, the L-shaped stairs. Yeah, uh, I, I did merging with these, which I had never done. So, you know, I, I did some things, I learned some things, but I, I can't live here. I can't live like this. So uh, I, I think I'm going to stop recording, and I'm going to try to find a spot... Maybe up there? Hmm. Okay, well, let's just go up there. Um, wait. Uh, the, the thing is, I kind of wanted to be near this trading outpost. Because I figure P 
people will be more likely to come to your camp if you're near a spot. Uh, I don't, just in case you don't know, you can fast travel here for free. The the trading post. It's one. The, there's a few spots on the map where you can fast travel for free, and that is one of them. So I figure if I yeah maybe I build up on these rocks if I can. It might be a pain to... Whoa. Why did my vision go off? Funny. Got him. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you my bills. Um, yeah, strong back and ammo. Just, I go through a fair amount of ammo. Thunder. I don't even know if I could build up here, actually. Hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently, no. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, sorry. Getting distracted uh, from that. Uh, yeah. Tank killer for some armor, commando, expert commando. I don't have full commando. I'm one shy of being all three commando cards. Um, I, I, I have it if I ever get another perception, which I can. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be easy, though. I need 100, and I have 20. Um, but that is probably my next one, so... My next uh, legendary. Oh yeah, legendaries. I uh, finally got my luck up one. And then I like that one. The rad's going down. The rad's going down and the health regeneration mean I basically never need to... <laughs> I, I practically never need to heal or use uh, rad X. Um, yeah, uh, this, this one's huge for my builds um, particularly because I'm doing a lot of crit stuff uh, it definitely helps a lot uh, especially staying at a somewhat distant um, I'm keeping the lockpick stuff on me although I almost never use it green thumb um, that's in my alternate build uh, this is another sort of similar uh, I, I do stay fully fed um and it does make a fair bit of difference. Uh, yeah, in case I ever need to go underwater for whatever reason. Cannibal, because it's fun. Fireproof, because you need it to build some, uh, some things. Uh, Charisma. Uh, team art. Yeah, that one's quite often good. Because most people run with some mutations, I feel like. I guess. Uh, I have been, you know, staying on a team most of the time, so... If I'm ever not, I do have Lone Wanderer ready to go, but it's for the most part. Um, yeah, I got one. This is not the best for this build. Yeah, is there anything else I could put there that would be better? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, my intelligence perks are not the best, I feel like. Yeah. But I guess they don't have to be, just in terms of... Oh god, the thunder. Uh, just in terms of like daily build stuff uh, action boy your classic covert op since I am you know arranged sneak builds very important uh -huh, my agility is pretty high so that is good 
Sneak, you gotta have it. Escape artist, love it. Gun Fu, um, I only put one in it, and that's kind of all I need just for the quality of life of it switching automatically to the next target. Um, this one I keep just in case I ever want to uh, switch to melee. I don't think I would, but I kind of had it already by mistake, so it seems a shame to get rid of it. In case I ever want to run across the map for some reason. Uh, you need that and that for stuff. Start genes and Clash Freak, of course, since I'm running mutations. I got one in Bloody Mess. Better crits. My crits consume less. And then uh, just the quality of life, which 30% makes a fair bit of difference. Uh, and then I got some backup ones that I can try other things. So, there you go. For guns. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, let me show you what I'm wearing now, too. So, I was wearing that before. Oh, I guess I wasn't from your perspective. Um, I got a nice clean black suit. Uh, this I just unlocked, but I need to unlock shielded which I need some more gold to do. Uh, this I was wearing before. Skull mask, inspector hat, got my wedding ring on. Uh, yeah, uh, my... Um, I got a full set of Secret Service. Pretty nice. Um, this is my chameleon one. Hunger thirst, because I am running full hunger. Da -da, carry weight, everything is buttressed and deep pocketed. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, hungry. I, I got a few overeaters ones. Intelligence, food and drink. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. oh, no drop. Inspect. Uh, yeah, hungry. Another overeaters. Um. That one's on explosion damage. Meh. Buttress deep pocketed, of course. And other overeaters. So those are all, you know, stacking up. Mm hmm. And last but not least. I think this is my newest one. Higher health, yeah. And, uh, sneaking protection chance buttress but um i'm currently running two fixers i just got this one this one is insane vampire and explode 90 percent weight and that's fine i mean there's there's better ones but uh you know pretty pretty good oh and i just converted to ultrasight which I had, I've never done that before, but I have the resources to do so, so why not? Uh, so Fixer, 101 damage is pretty, pretty, pretty okay. Um, and keep in mind, two times 2.5 for a sneak attack, so. Uh, and then I have this one, which is similar this one's better for like range with that 50 percent chance um to hit like makes a huge difference for like we'll see if there's a guy here no way eh? okay normally there's some folks wandering about in there but i guess not um yeah, you can really take advantage of that 50% from range combined with shots um, doing more, uh, being more accurate. So look, 71%, uh, 79, 87, 95. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. This thing's pretty strong. It can't get up here though. Hmm. 
All right, and then let's switch to explosive. I'll hop down now. Mm-hmm. Melts them pretty good. Whatever, I'll take the meat. Alright. I guess that is sort of that for showing you everything I've been up to in this game and why I haven't really been playing Rust and our video in general in terms of, you know, just an experimental my lazy uh, long weekends here in Canada anyways um, what I'm doing with my goddamn life right why don't I move on over to Fireside Chat as we end this thing this experimental why did he record oh, such a weird conglomeration of thing video uh huh um yeah, I, I don't know if there'll be other videos like this. Probably won't. It's just something I felt like doing, so I did it. Because that's how I rule. That leaves the final thing to say, which is always the final thing to say, which is, of course, it's nice to be nice to the nice. <laughs>